Hello everyone, we are getting closer to Christmas and I think it's time to start preparing our decorations. That's why I created this tutorial for you. I would like to show you how to decoupage on bulbs. I will be using large styrofoam bowl. The best would be one made with fine styrofoam pieces. First we need to smooth it with fine sandpaper. When everything is ready, push bamboo skewer inside the bowl. This will make it easier to hold it when you're in the process of decorating. I always put some grain in a cup and stick my bubble in it for drying. First, we need to paint our bowl with white acrylics and let it dry. I'm using decoupage sponge, but you can use brush as well. After drying, we can start preparing rice paper. This is my favorite one with cream roses. Golden rule is to tear images out with fingers, not to cut it with scissors. They tend to blend better if they are torn out. These images are really large, so gluing without wrinkles will be a hell of a challenge. Try to tear your pictures from edges towards center in several places. Also, you need to apply glue underneath as well as on top and stick each part separately, pressing your brush really hard to smooth any wrinkles appearing. I know that some people don't apply glue under rice paper, but I think this is a huge mistake. If rice paper is not glued properly, air bubbles will appear underneath as soon as it gets some humidity. So don't cut corners, do it the right way. When everything is dry, we can start shading around images. I'm using acrylic retarder and shading sponges. Make sure not to add too much retarder to your paint otherwise your work will be drying for days. Take a little bit of paint on smaller sponge, then a little bit of retarder and apply it gently around images. 
After that, with help of a larger sponge, tap over it to create shading. This is time consuming, but believe me, it's worth it. I use dark green color around leaves and cream around flowers. When everything is properly dry, we can start adding crackle medium. Today I will be using two-step crackle. Component one is milky white and we need to apply it first. Make sure you cover your bubble evenly with really soft brush to avoid strokes. On round surfaces, like balls, I suggest to dry it with help of a hair dryer and then leave it for several hours. I usually apply component 1, dry it with hair dryer and leave it overnight just to make sure everything is perfectly dry. If it isn't, varnish will start coming off and your project will, will end up in rubbish bin. After that we can apply step 2 and dry it once again with help of a hair dryer. As component 2 is drying out, cracks will start appearing on our bubble. I used fine line crackle varnish, but you can use medium or large variety if you want bigger cracks. When everything is perfectly dry, we can start filling cracks with dry metallic pigment called purpurina. Use large soft brush to do so and wipe excess with kitchen towel. You can buy purpurina in different colors, from white to black. I have decided to use copper. Make sure you don't touch your ball with your skin after drying step 2. If you do so, dry pigment will stick to it in places when you touched it and it will become difficult to wipe it off. To protect pigment from falling out of cracks, we need to varnish our bubble with solvent-based varnish, not the acrylic one. And, wh and why? Simply because water-based varnish will wash out our dry pigment out of cracks. Thank you. 
So my Christmas bubble is done and I can add some finishing touches like bead cap and pearl pin at the bottom. On top, I'm adding styrofoam fitting. Also, you can add nice ribbon if you like to. I couldn't decide, but finally organza ribbon won the battle. So what do you think? You like it or not? Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook.